I'm Vojtica Tomuš. I'm Child Protection Specialist working with UNICEF Romania. We are working since quite a while now, um, I think six or seven years, uh, to uh, develop a digital tool for the use of community professionals, meaning social workers, community health nurses, school mediators, a tool which is supposed to assist them in the, in the identification and assessment of risk and vulnerabilities of children. This tool we called Aurora, is used during uh, the home visits uh, professionals are doing, uh, during which they are asking all uh, members of the household, um, including children above 10, about their situation in the area of poverty, housing, health, education, risky behaviors, um, and family and social conditions. Um, data that is involved in, in the work and uh, which goes into Aurora um, digital, uh, digital tool is administrative. So we use personal identification number, address, phone, and other details uh, um, of the uh, parents, caregivers, and children in a particular household, but also information about their particular situation, including some of um, the information in private spheres, uh, in all the domains that I mentioned uh, previously. Uh, based on the assessment, risk and vulnerabilities are suggested by Aurora, because Aurora has an algorithm behind that uh, digest all the information and suggest some risks and vulnerabilities. Um, and the community workers are also um, helped or suggested with a primary, uh, with a list of primary services, which we call minimum package of services. This is in a nutshell, Aurora. We also always consider that promoting responsible use of data is key. And in Romania, as a EU member state, um, as an EU member state, statistical data uh, practices are influenced by Eurostat standard operating procedures. And handling of personal data on children is subject to general data protection regulation, which we know uh, GDPR. And when we uh, uh, had to consider um, the GDPR, UNICEF in Romania had in mind several um, aspects. One, it was about uh, children and their parents and caregivers who need to be correctly informed about the importance of protecting personal data, with whom to share, when to share, uh, whom to trust, uh, to, to expose, um, uh, personal identification numbers, but also intimate details about their uh, life. Um, secondly, uh, it's, uh, uh, we were also concerned about uh, how professionals are using the data. And not only while collecting the data and inputting into the digital tool, but also beyond that, how they are using this data in order to provide certain type of services with whom they are discussing about and, and things like that. Um, thirdly, um, it's about decision makers who in Aurora, in the platform, don't see but aggregated data, but very often uh, they want to exemplify one case or another with a certain situation. And then they say, okay, I want to see one child without identity paper. And it's not that simple. I mean, we need to protect these children uh, no matter what kind of data are even aggregated at national level and uh, with their support um, a, a policy is going to be developed. As such, responsible use of data is not only a statement, it is an ability which needs to be learned and exercised daily at all levels and uh, really requires continuous effort and resources. When considering this, I, I try to think about some principles that we try to put in practice. And 
One of them is act locally so that you have results nationally or even higher. And uh, in Romania, we are modeling intervention at local level, uh, promoting responsible use of data, but then we are advocating for this to become national policies. And once the national policies is approved, it embeds also the standard for responsible practice already. And this is important for us. Secondly is children are agents of change. And from the very beginning, from the very first interaction with Aurora, we try to explain how important uh, data is. If a child gets it, if it really uh, understands what it is about, then he or she will ensure sustainability by default. Um, thirdly, uh, important factor. We say it's painful, but grateful uh, in the sense that uh, successfully promoting responsible use of data is not easy. You have to do a lot of activities, actions with many people involved at all levels. It's not cheap. It's not one time project or activity. It's not fast. But at the end of the day, it, it pays off because it builds also trust. It encourages participation of people in decisions that affect their life. And ultimately it strengthens systems as a whole. The last uh, is uh, an important factor that ensures success of, uh, uh, of such a practice is to have indispensable resources, which are people. You have to have champions promoting responsible use of data, and you have to have also money with other budget allocation, because otherwise you cannot do capacity building, monitoring, evaluating the effects of, of use of uh, uh, data in a protective manner. We, we are, are considering this as part of, of, um, um, of, our, um, of our work now, almost on a daily basis. Um, strategies for social system strengthening are increasingly reliant on information communication technologies and on digital data. And we are happy that Aurora is going to be part of the new management information system for children, which is currently built in, in, in Romania. And uh, we are uh, keeping an eye how the new system will embed all these standards for protecting the uh, use of data for children, which is really of utmost importance and, and needs to be addressed now. Um, while considering various options to scale uh, um, up the uh, tested and evaluated models, including practices for responsible data use, uh, Romania has an opportunity to rapidly scale nationally these practices. And besides capacity building at all levels, clear procedures and standards for the management of that children's data, um, we need to embed in all digital constructions um, uh, these practices. Uh, you may know that in, in, in countries like Romania, Every day an application is developed. Every day a new digital tool is, is uh, released on the market. All these tools need to communicate together. All these tools include data about children, about uh, um, uh, vulnerable groups, and we need to be careful how all the procedures and standards are observed. Going beyond borders, uh, Romania is also uh, considering and, and, and did this already uh, through horizontal co cooperation. Uh, we promoted the best practices by documenting also the lessons learned, sharing the operating procedures and standards we already uh, associated with Aurora. We provided technical assistance and knowledge management uh, when needed. So, um, we think it's already part of our daily job and we will continue to do this forward. It's not to be taken as easy and not to be overlooked. Uh, sometimes it, it, uh, it, re it really requires uh, uh, time, uh, a lot of patience and also enough resources to do it. But it's really 
paying off. And uh, when you see how children are 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 are, are also um, asking uh, sometimes from professionals, uh, uh, fr from their peers, uh, from their parents to to use data in a responsible manner, this is something that you really uh, you re are, are really happy to see how, how this is. Uh, um, how this development uh, happened and um, it, it's it's a practice that uh, requires a change in, in uh, maybe in sometimes in a behavior and it takes time um, but it's possible and uh, at the end of the day as mentioned it uh, it builds uh, trust and it's it strengthens really the the way in which services are delivered uh, it strengthens the, the the capacity to to uh, respond it it strengthens the system per se